Bible verses about a mother's love. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up, and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Proverbs chapter 31, verses 25 to 30. As one whom his mother comforts, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 13. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Titus chapter 2, verse 4. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. And above all things have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 8 to 9. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 48. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by, whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. John chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Psalm 127, verse 3. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Psalm 139, verse 13. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God 
be not blasphemed. Titus chapter 2, verses 3 to 5. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and she that bear thee shall rejoice. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 25. Ye shall fear every man his mother and his father, and keep my Sabbaths. I am the Lord, your God. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 3. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. Honor thy father and thy mother, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee, that thy days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with thee, in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 16.